As she came closer to her house and emerged from the trees, Tabitha could see her father watching through the screen door with a concerned look on his face. When he saw her in the distance, he sighed with relief. Tabitha, he called out. Get in the house. The storm is coming. The girl ran through the yard straight into her father's arms. He gave her a big hug, covering her in his bright red jacket. I'm so glad you're okay. Your mother thought you had gone to Nadia's, but we called and you weren't there, so we didn't know where to look for you. Tabitha went over the conversation with her mother in her mind and didn't recall mentioning anything about Nadia. But I never said I was at Nadia's, she explained. I was in Grenosha, saving the Grenegots from the Nados. Tabitha's father didn't understand a word of what his daughter had just said. Well, you can tell us all about it, but we have to go down to the basement. Tabitha and her father went into the basement where her mother and sister were waiting. Tabitha, you're safe cried her mother as she saw Tabitha coming down the stairs. She grabbed her in her arms and hugged her so tightly she could hardly breathe. Don't you ever take off like that again, okay? She whispered in her ear with a tear coming down her cheek. Don't you ever do that again. I'm sorry, Mom, said Tabitha. In a corner of the basement, Caitlin was playing with the big purple teddy bear she had received as a birthday present from her Aunt Tracy. She was mad at Tabitha for leaving and didn't want her to know how much she had missed her and how scared she had been. Tabitha walked over to her and kneeled down on the carpet, picking up one of Caitlin's dolls and began stroking its long black hair. So, uh, did you have fun at your birthday party? Caitlin didn't look up at her sister. Yeah. I I'm sorry for leaving like that. Caitlin was quiet for a moment. Then her eyes met Tabitha's with a most serious gaze. You didn't sink for me, Tabby. Then you made me get scared when you ran away. I know I did, Katie. Do you forgive me? No, not yet. What, what do I have to do to get you to forgive me? Asked Tabitha. Caitlin raised an eyebrow. You know what? Just then, the wind started to howl and the rain started to pour, making a terrible racket. Just as quickly, the sound of rain became even louder and heavier. They could see the trees swaying and bending through the tiny basement window as hail the size of grapes, then plums began to hit the ground. A crack of lightning, followed immediately by a deafening rumble of thunder, made Caitlin jump. She started to cry. I'm scared, Tabby, she confessed as she grabbed Tabitha's hand. That doesn't sound good, Tabitha's father whispered in her mother's ear. Then Tabitha picked up Caitlin and sat her on her lap. She wrapped her arms around her little sister and began singing the song Caitlin had been waiting for all day. She started off softly at first, but her voice got stronger as she continued. And when she finished the How Old Are You Now part of Happy Birthday, she didn't stop. As the wind howled and the hail fell on the roof, she kept on singing almost every song she knew, from lullabies to pop songs from the radio to songs that they were singing in her music class, where she had always mouthed the words. Caitlin would join in when she knew the words, and they laughed and clapped and had a wonderful time. Tabitha's mother and father looked on, very pleased, wondering what had happened to make Tabitha want to sing again, but afraid to ask in case she would stop. She seemed so happy, and it was so lovely to hear her. After what seemed like hours, the wind seemed to calm down, and it became quieter outside. The rain and hail had stopped, and Tabitha's father went upstairs to get a better look at the sky. He returned a few moments later. Well, there's just a bit of cloud left. I, I checked the radio in the kitchen, and they said the sky should be clearing for the rest of the night. He ruffled his hand through Caitlin's hair. Looks like the storm is over. We can all go to sleep now. Caitlin glanced up at her father with big brown eyes. What storm, Daddy? Did we have a storm? She had forgotten all about it. She was having so much fun listening to her big sister. Tabitha's mom took her eldest daughter's face in her hands and kissed her on the forehead. Looks like you chased the storm away, she whispered in Tabitha's ear. My little girl with the magical voice. <laughs>